There she is! Yay, Mama! Good morning, world! Actually, good afternoon. They're already home from school, and we are in the swing of a busy night. So, JBEC has soccer, basketball, and football tonight. We have devised a schedule to work so he can go to two of the three. But what is the sad news? Tell him the bad news and the good news. Good news is I can I can still do two. You still do two? That is good news. I like it. That's positive attitude. The bad news is I can't do two with my basketball game. Yeah. The one he can't go to is his basketball game, which is your favorite, right? But we invited a couple of his friends over to have a basketball game tonight when we get home here at our house, huh? You mean party? Basketball party. So I have everything laid out for him. Soccer, shirt, jersey. Look what happened, you guys. Turn over, show him. Jersey got caught in the wash and it ripped a big hole in it. So I cut it out. You can see right here where it was at. Cut it out and I used black electrical tape. You really can't tell. Can't tell from here. Not really. And then this will last until we can get him a new one here, right? Now we're number 45, Spider Mitchell's number. We got everything else set out. Yummy, dirty socks. Got treats today. We've got dad's set. We kind of impressed with how set everything out. Oh, Dad doesn't want to talk, he's got to go. I love it. Peyton just got home from dance. We have an appointment in just a couple minutes and then we're gonna meet back in there. So it is like, go, 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 go. So we just got to Beckham's game, we're about 30 minutes late, and JD already left to start coaching football. So Beckham's gonna be late for football, but we're gonna hurry and watch him play soccer. Ooh, it's an elbow there, Beggs. We're gonna watch him play soccer. Then we are going to the basketball party, which apparently JD called and said, Beckham invited a couple of his friends, so make sure that we have like popsicles and stuff. Bless life. I actually always dreamed of watching my kiddos play sports, so this is a fun time for us. Two, three, four. Hey, what are you doing? Covering Rocky's ears. Said I'd rather have my ears brought than Rocky's. <laughs> you are a sweet sister. Good, Max. Good, get up there. Literally sweating. Oh my gosh, and those jets are so loud. This part of town is right by the Air Force Base and it is so loud. Anyways, literally sweating. We ran after his last game, like carrying two kids under each arm because of course Palmer didn't bring shoes and I didn't think about it. So, ran Jay back in, Peyton ran in the car for a little too. Ran Jay back in. Literally, I'm like taking off his shirt as he's running onto the field. I'm like, switch jerseys, switch jerseys. He switched jerseys. He's down playing. I came back to get the Littles and Peyton out of the car. We're gonna go watch the game. It has about half an hour left. And then apparently he invited his whole soccer team over to play basketball. I am so tired. It is seven o'clock at night and we're only halfway done. It's a good life. I keep saying that. It really is though, guys. It's a lot, but it's fun. And I'm glad you're here for the ride. Do we go to the next one? <laughs> Hey, seriously, when did you get like 25 and gorgeous? I don't Stop know, but growing my up. Maybe it is your earrings. Shake. Her earrings got my shake on them and she's not thrilled. She's like, my face stinks. Because <laughs> her shake stinks. What you do for beauty? Look at that handsome coach out there. so good. I was worried you wouldn't have anything left in the tank. You did so good. Oh, you having fun? Yeah. You guys just have dick. super tired. Do you want me to use the massage gun on him tonight? Yes. All right, I will. Do you have any energy left for basketball? My basketball's still going. No, your basketball with your friends. Definitely. Good. Get him. Yeah. Yes, you better. We crushed it. You guys did good. You saved the score was? 38 to 6. 38 to 6. Nice job. Good job. All right, on to basketball. <laughs> so we're home. We're using the lights of the vehicles to play this game. JD drew chalk. I didn't realize it was going to be like legit two on two basketball. Dads are coaching. <laughs> so cute. j -Beck, is this what you were dreaming of? Pretty 
you doing? Don't you know it's 9 o'clock at night? What's up, bro? Does this make you happy? Oh, so nice. Oh, this is like all the things you made up. I just realized we've been so busy today. We haven't talked about how Palmer has marker all over. She's giving herself a beer. Yes. What are you kids doing? Super timer. If you guys have a hard time getting your kids to brush their teeth, I recommend a toothbrush timer. You can find them in anything. Whatever your kid's into, Paw Patrol, sports, anything, you name it. All the Disney people, they're two minute timers. They watch them, it shows them where to brush. Beautiful. So our kids are doing toothbrush timers and it is in too bad. I am so tired. Also, JD just told me I didn't tell you where to find them on YouTube. Hey, people, uh, toothbrush mommy. Mm, How you doing, coach? I'm like running on my reserve. If I was a gas can, I would be empty. <laughs> if I was a garbage man, I'd be in the landfill. Mine was better. <laughs> Bed, sweet boy. You seem so tired. Have you ever worked so hard in your whole life? I don't know. Whoa, I look like a ghost with this light. A long time ago, when I was a mom of young kids, I had somebody telling me that their kids were in like everything. And I kind of felt like, oh, I would never do that. And then, who? Sorry, it's been a long day. The dad said, when I was little, I could work. Like I could work at like age 12 and I learned a good work ethic. And work ethic is super important to JD and I. My first job, my dad technically had the job and then we went with him, it was at a golf course and we picked up the range balls. So we worked at a really young age to learn a good work ethic. And that has stuck with us. And that is something that's like a big part of Team Hour is having a big work ethic. And so can't have our kids working now, right? I think the working age is like, what, 14 or 15? By then your habits are pretty much set. We are using sports to kind of teach our kids teamwork, following through, commitment, working for something you want, all of those things. And so Beckham is in a lot of sports. Are you gonna fall asleep before this is done? Okay, really quick, I have to say, guys, our last vlog was me coming home. I'm gonna answer this clip. This just derailed on a side note. Before we go to bed, I wanted to show you me seeing the kids for the first time. JD recorded that clip. I'm going to insert here this clip of seeing the kids for the first time, although it feels really out of place, but before JD Beck falls asleep. There she is! Yay, Mama! I missed you all so much. <laughs> yes. My turn. I didn't even miss you. Oh! Hi, Rocco. Oh, Rocco's got me pumped. <laughs> oh, so good to see you. Hi, Hi guys. Miss you too. <laughs> She's home. We're so excited. I am so thankful to have her home now. Sure missed her. You don't realize what you're missing until that's gone. She is what I've been missing. She is the piece of my life I don't ever want gone. Okay, now we're back. Did you want me to use a massage gun on your legs? Let's do it. Massage gun. Ready for this? It feels so good. You're gonna fall asleep while I'm doing it for him. <laughs> is it a tickle? Maybe he won't fall asleep while I'm doing it. Hey. Keep your foot still. It tickles too much? What if I did it here? Does that tickle? <laughs> what? It tickles even more. <laughs> I know, he's got the hiccups too. He's never been to bed. But does it feel good on your muscles? It hurts bad. Beckham, I am so proud of all the things you're doing in your life. It's important to work hard, and it's important to be well-rounded. You know how you did your reading and your math before you can go? It's important to do all those things. I'm proud of you. Love you. Love you. Peace out, dudes. Oh my gosh, tonight was one of the best nights. It's one for the books, for sure, because it was like the perfect night. We got football, we got soccer, we've got basketball. We had that basketball game. The kids loved it. All the kids loved it. We had ice cream after. Like, it was just like perfect. The perfect perfect weather all the kids had a blast it really was just a fun day guys guess what we are going to Disneyland how many days six or seven days we are almost there six or seven days and we are gonna be at Disneyland and is I honestly like I don't think I've ever been this excited to go to Disneyland I'm just really excited like I just feel like more of an adult I don't know why it's gonna be different for sure with COVID and everything but then also we're gonna go to the Halloween parties if you guys don't know what that is you're definitely gonna have to check that out I had no idea what it was but I'm very excited to go to it now. Thanks guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you haven't. We'll, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.